Today's video does have a $20 giveaway, so if you want a chance at winning that, then all you have to do is comment your in-game name in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to play Aragon, then click on the link in the description that sends you to their Discord. And once you join the Discord, you can just go to the download section and download the client from there. A quick shout out to Lyft for winning the last episode's giveaway. Make sure to message me in game or through Discord in order to claim your prize. Okay, so as much as I tried to avoid the situation, I was able to sell two of the Inquisitor items, but not the last plate skirt, so I'm going to have to drop that price down quite a bit. So I am going to go ahead and set this at 550 mil, which is a pretty reasonable price. It's a lot less than what I initially had it for, but that's just because the Inquisitor set that I put up on the shop was the only one available on the market, and I was trying to get as much money as possible from it. But I did also mention that even if just one item sold and I didn't get the entire set to sell then it would still be worth it because everything was so overpriced at the time so I got 1.5 bill even after tax just from selling two inquisitor items and that's not like anything super crazy but that's much better than I expected sometimes there's a lot of inquisitors on the market and you can only pretty much get 1.5 bill for the entire set so it's not anything crazy but it is better than expected but now that the price is dropped on this inquisitor plate skirt I do definitely expect it to sell and after tax I should be right around two bill total cash and you know what I'll even drop this crystal of corruption down to 200 mil just to see if it sells because it's been in there for a while and no one's bought it but anyways new weekly task did come in and these are amazing compared to last week's I can do every single PVM task here I have to kill Bork within 65 seconds and Cerberus within 65 seconds and then I even have an overlapping task within that same weekly category because I have to kill Bork 221 times which is very doable and also the Necromancer 117 times and then corporal beast within 130 seconds six times so every single one of these are very achievable which is crazy because there's usually like one or two i just don't want to do but these are all so good and i also have the gambling task which is always a free four points and in the mini game task i also have arena of avatars and tol that i can do both of those take a little bit of time but i actually do plan on doing both of those within this week at some point so that is just something that i'm gonna get more ap from and it's not like i'm even going out of my way to do it because i was already planning on doing both of those raids. I think I'm going to start with Bork because that is the biggest weekly task that I have to do. It's over 200 kills, but it's also a task that has two weekly tasks to it. So I have to kill it within 65 seconds or something like that. And then I also have to just get the kill count of over 200 kills. And I think there might even be a daily task for it. So that's a really big weekly task that I want to start working on as soon as possible. And there actually is a boss instance potion here that can give me access to Bork and it only costs 5,000 monster tickets. And I didn't know that last time I was just waiting for people to get out of Bork but now it looks like I can just do it in an instant so I don't ever have to wait for it to be free so yeah shout out to whoever left that comment in the last video because I did not know that and I was just waiting for people to get done with Bork so now I can just go into this instanced area and just kill Bork whenever I want and it only costs 5,000 monster tickets wow look at this this is actually pretty fancy you have all your chest and your prayer altars and stuff like that really cool and now I just sit here and AFK for about four hours well maybe not I don't remember how fast I can kill Bork I think it's probably around like probably like 40 seconds with the Elder Chaotic Maul but yeah I just sit here and I'm not going to take any damage because I have my Torva and the little bit of damage I take is just going to be replenished by Soul Split so yeah the only thing I have to do is click on my screen every five minutes to get my overload to reset and honestly I could even get the overloaded perk and not have to do that you know what let me go home and see if I can do that I think that will be very important to have in the future I can't teleport out of here so I'm going to have to rebuy my entrance here but I'm going to go get that overloaded perk so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to my pet perks. I'm going to take off Fortunate Brother because I was doing barrows and didn't take that off earlier. So yeah, I'm going to go and buy this overloaded perk. I do have a hundred achievement points to work and I'm pretty sure this is a cheaper. Oh, actually I have the first tier already. So I'm just going to upgrade this until pretty much I can't anymore. It is very cheap to do. I'm only going to be spending a couple achievement points right here. So we're up to three out of four and I've only used 70 points. So yeah, 15 minutes of overloads for every dose and I'm going to be getting like 150 to 200 achievement points from these weekly tasks that I'm doing so yeah not really a huge deal I'm gonna have to get this at some point anyways so I might as well get it now since I'm gonna be coming into a lot of AP in the future I say this every single episode but the AFK bossing and the AFK weekly task are my favorite and now that I have 15 minutes 
of overloads to work with. The only thing I got to worry about is my prayer. And I do even have the monster perk that restores your prayer after a kill. And I'm not going to end up restoring my prayer after every single kill and being completely AFK for 15 minutes. But it's just another thing that makes stuff a little bit easier when it comes to the quality of life. I'll just have to restore my prayer once every like 7 to 10 minutes and I'll be fine. I'm also going to be going back to the raids as I mentioned earlier in this episode. I'm going to be doing a lot of TOL and AOA. And I won't have to overload in the middle of my fights anymore or during the raid so that's going to be helpful as well again it's just a quality of life thing and i'm definitely willing to spend 70 achievement points for it and then just finish up these tasks for this week and get back to having like 200 ap and one more other thing that i kind of hinted at earlier but i didn't really go over it fully is that i've only been getting my overloads from the aragon point shop which is not really that good and i go through them pretty quickly because each dose only lasted five minutes and now that they last 15 minutes i will be able to save up a lot of doses over time realistically i should just wait for someone to put them on the market for like one mil each or whatever and then just buy a bunch but i've just been getting a handful from the aragon point shop and then decanting them to get the most out of them that i possibly can but yeah this will just help with that and the quality of life of everything else it's definitely a big pet perk upgrade to get once you're later on into the life cycle of your account just for the quality of life but yeah that's pretty much it for now i don't really have too much more to talk about i'm gonna be killing bork for quite a while it looks like the kills are around like an average of 30 to 40 seconds and i gotta do 200 of them i don't know if i'm gonna do all 200 in this episode but i will end up doing them throughout the week of course because those are very big weekly tasks that i can do there's a lot of overlapping when it comes to bork today specifically so i want to get as much done as i can then we can finally try my torva set out well it's not a full set because i don't have the helmet yet but then i can try my torva out at the arena of avatars and at tol i'm very excited about that because i've had some difficulty soloing towards the end because i get stacked out by certain attacks and stuns and stuff like that and i know the defense of the torva set isn't really going to help much when it comes to the markings or the curses because that's just like base damage but i do have extra health with the torva set so i shouldn't really get stacked out as often as i was before And this is the first daily task of the video. I got my Bork kills within 65 seconds 13 times. A pretty easy task to complete. Every kill is about 30 to 40 seconds as I mentioned earlier. Maybe sometimes they get up to around 50 seconds. And it's nice to get that first daily task done. But as I mentioned earlier, it's going to take quite a while to get 200 kills. It's not like a ridiculous grind or anything. It's only going to take like 3 hours at the max. But compared to some other weekly tasks, that's still a little bit longer than what you would expect. So yeah, again, I don't know if I'll do all of that in this one episode because it's just a little bit too long. I want to get multiple tasks done within this video and I don't want to just sit here all day. So I'll have to come back in the future or maybe, you know what, maybe I'll just get bored throughout the day and just continue to sit here until the task is done. It's not like a huge grind, as I mentioned, only about three hours at the max, but a little bit longer than what you would expect when it comes to a weekly task. And that's a Boots of Brimstone drop right there. I would have loved to have gotten that on my Hardcore Iron Man, but getting it here is fine as well. I could either sell these or turn them into dust or whatever. Of course, there's a guaranteed drop here at 138, so I'll be getting something else here soon. Every time I see that, I think it's so weird, but there's a guaranteed drop, so that's that's gonna happen, I guess. And there was also a brand new update that just went live as I'm recording all this, so let's go ahead and quickly take a look at that while I kill Bork in the background. Hopefully I don't die, but yeah, Valamore region has been implemented into Aragon. Players can now get there after doing the quest New Lands. The Inferno is also implemented into the game, which is crazy because there's no teleport for that. And the Wilderness group boss has now been added to multi-combat, and it's in level 2 Wilderness. At level 99 thieving, players are now able to pickpocket other players and will take a hit based off of the worn weapon if pickpockets fail. A new quest has been added deep into spaghetti where adventurers will aid the wise old man into finding his mom's spaghetti. All newly created accounts will have to watch a 30 second ad that cannot be skipped to grant the server more revenue. And upon finishing a slayer task, you will now be faced with a horrible screamer. Of course, that's all just an April Fool's joke that's not really actually in the game, but while I was reading that i got an ornate mall handle and a brimstone ring so sweet it is pretty funny though and i think those updates should have actually been in the game just for one day that would have been great even though it would have probably ruined a lot of stuff even the fixes and the changes are kind of funny there's one here that fixed all issues with achievements by removing all achievements so there's just no achievements anymore sometimes jad spawns twice and apparently that's fixed and slayer task remove gold instead of granting players gold <laughs> the pool of restoration has been moved to the donator zone so you got to give us some money if you want that the queen of aragon has now been 
having her named Queen Selene, and most importantly, closing the game will now open up two additional windows of Aragon, so there is no escaping. Again, even if it ruined the server completely, they should have put that in for a day. That would have been great. But yeah, this is going to be kill number 100, and I did complete an achievement from doing that, so hopefully I get a lot of achievement points, but I can't open it right now, so I'm going to have to go home and do that. Basically, I got like 250k and a couple of monster tickets. I sent those to the bank already, and then I have some seeds that I'm not even going to claim because I'm not going to do farming. And I also got three achievement points from it, which isn't the greatest, but it is passive achievement points, so I'll take it, I guess. I did complete the one achievement that I showed you early on into the Bork grind, but I'm only about 25% of the way through the 221 kills that I need to get and I think that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing today. I'll go in chunks of 25 so tomorrow I'll get to the 50% mark and for the daily task I thought I had a Bork one but apparently not. But yeah I'll just continue to do Bork throughout the week. This is a pretty long task. It is time consuming. I've already done this for over an hour and I'm only 25% of the way there so maybe a little bit more than three hours but that's okay. We have other tasks that we can definitely do today and some of them are a little bit long but most of them are pretty easy. We're going to move on to doing some gambling for now i will be going back to bork in the future of course but i just want to switch things up as i mentioned before so i'm going to do some gambling here i'm going to start with 50 mil see how much money i make or lose and i think i have to do this 70 times for the weekly task maybe there's a daily task to go along with it but i don't know i didn't check so i'll be getting some decent ap from this and it won't take nearly as long as the bork task i'll get this done in about 30 minutes no big deal i'll just sit here and click and That'll be that. And it actually looks like that Crystal of Corruption did sell for 200 mil. So I'm going to withdraw that to my cash stack. And now I should be at right around like 1.8, I think. Yeah, 1.8 bill. With this 1.8 bill, I am going to be getting my rapier 50 something episodes into the series, even though this was a goal of mine since the beginning for the most part. I've just kind of put it off and decided to get other upgrades outside of the rapier. But now it's going to be pretty useful to me because I have a few things that are really going to have to revolve around the rapier. So yeah, I'm going to be trading Nexum for a rapier. I'm going to be giving them 1.8 bill and I'm going to be pretty much broke after that. And there it is, just like that, I have a rapier. And now I can do a lot of things and I'm not gonna really go into it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the gambling thing and then, you know, I can move on and talk about the rapier a bit more. You know, the only thing that's kind of bad about this is that I had to bank my 50 mil and I also only have 13 mil left. And I'm also about halfway done with all of this gambling. So I don't know if I profited any or lost money from doing this. It's really not that big of a deal. Every single time I pretty much just break even for the most part, but it's always fun to play the game within the game you know am i gonna make money or lose money so i did say just a few seconds ago that i was gonna wait until i'm done gambling to talk about the rapier and to go over my gear but i might as well just start doing that now because all i'm really doing is sitting here and clicking buttons for the next 30 minutes but this is pretty much the final melee upgrade that i'm going for of course i still want my ring of power and i'll take an amulet upgrade if i can get it but that's not something that i really really want right now because i'm pretty much just focused on melee stuff because a lot of my grind in the future is going to be revolving around melee. I've already talked about this quite a bit. I'm not going to go into it too much, but TOL, AOA, and next is pretty much my focus. And also, of course, the AP grinding. So I really don't have any other melee upgrade that I really want to get. The Torva helmet would be cool, but I don't necessarily need it. And I'm not really going to focus or prioritize it too much. I'm pretty satisfied with what I got. I have the Elder Chaotic Maul for all of the big bosses, and now I have the Rapier for all of the bosses that I can't use the Elder Chaotic mall for and even for things like the trials of logor i have the rapier for the rangers within the second room i think it is but this is also going to help quite a bit for the cyclops task that i get in the warriors guild and also the necromancer kills that i'm going to have to do in the wilderness that's going to speed everything up a lot so yeah i mean it's pretty simple and pretty basic the rapier is used for rapier things and the elder chaotic mall is used for elder chaotic things and i got my torva and my serp helm i don't really need any other upgrades outside of that i can obviously use a few upgrades but i don't 
don't need anything unless I do come across a ring of power or a tour of a helmet but I'm not going to specifically search for those things however I will search for ranged based upgrades when it comes to weapons gear and even I'll probably start focusing on ranged pet perks at some point too so yeah that's my ramble session for today's video I always got to throw one of them in there and that was the one for today so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this task and move on to my next weekly task and after a few minutes my task is done gambling 78 times I don't know if I profited because I banked on my cash earlier and I only had 13 mil left so probably lost money I even lost money from when I started doing this again after buying the rapier so yeah probably a loss but the achievement points are definitely worth it I'm up to 12 already I have a couple more things to do as well so we're just getting through it right now I'm gonna go ahead and kill the necromancer 117 times now and this will definitely be pretty interesting because this will be the first time that I'm using my rapier on any sort of boss the necromancer is a very low level boss so it's not like a huge test as to how good it is but it's definitely gonna speed up the task usually with my tent whip I'm out there for like an hour or two just getting these 117 kills so hopefully this speeds things up a little bit and yeah we're just gonna start doing some kills here hopefully the rapier shows a very noticeable difference in the kill times because if not then I just spent two bill for basically nothing but I'm sure there will be definitely a big difference right there has to be there just there just has to be let's go ahead and get some kills and I'll report back when I figure things out oh yeah and one more thing that I'll mention is that my computer is running very slow right now I have no idea why so if someone comes to try to PK me they have a chance to get me and even then like I'm lagging very often right now and they could smite me or something and my protect item could come off or whatever you know something crazy could happen right now but I mean I hardly ever get PK'd at Necromancer so I, it should be fine but I'm just saying it's a little bit risky right now because my PC is like a toaster Oh, I didn't even notice, but I just got a Malediction Ward drop. That's one of the things about AFKing here is that you get the kills quickly and the drops come by very often. Interesting, very interesting. I didn't see who it was, but I just glanced back up at the minimap at the last second and saw there was someone here. So they were either trying to kill the Necromancer and left, or they're just scouting it out and they're going to see that I'm in Torva and definitely come back and try to get me. And they might do it, like I said already a couple times. I'm not really too focused. I'm watching a baseball game on the side and my computer's running a little bit slow. So getting out of here from a PK air would be a little bit interesting. I don't know if I can do it. And there is a daily Necromancer task that has been completed. So there was two overlapping Bork tasks for weeklies and a weekly and a daily necromancer task overlapping and that is the best when everything just overlaps throughout the entire week and you don't have to do much of a grind at all and you're just getting all this free AP without doing anything as far as the kill times go they're pretty similar to the whip though so far you got some 50 second ones in there some 40 seconds even 30 to 20 seconds and that's not the fastest kill in the world that's very similar to what my whip was doing honestly if I got a 50 second kill with my whip I'd be a little bit disappointed but the fact that 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 has happened a few times with the rapier is pretty concerning honestly but again it is just the necromancer which is a boss that hardly has any defense or anything like that so i'm gonna have to use this at a couple bosses before i make my decision of course it's got to be really good otherwise people would not be valuing it at two bill and people wouldn't really be using it okay yeah so believe it or not at the necromancer the kills are a lot easier with the whip i'm getting a 20 second kill pretty much every single time whereas with the rapier it was going up to 40s and 50s and honestly i mean i'm hitting just better with the whip I mean it's very similar but just a slightly better with the whip and the venom's coming in too so it just really works out well instead of the rapier I mean the venom only came in for three damage there at the end of this fight I didn't even have enough time to get through it and it's still less than 30 seconds so as I mentioned earlier I will definitely have to test this at other bosses but I mean maybe maybe the rapier is not worth it for some things you know the whip is just fine and it's 90 mil rather than two bill the drops just don't stop on this boss I swear to god i got a ring of the gods right there my next guaranteed kill or my next guaranteed drop is at five or th fucking hell i can't even read 357 oh and here we are with the pk
I don't know if he was just hitting me because it was like a multi-target thing or if he was actually trying to attack me there, but it obviously didn't seem like he was trying to kill me, but I might as well bank now. I got to get my supplies up anyways. And honestly, I might even just end the things now instead of banking and going back because whether they were trying to PK me or not, it didn't seem like they were, but they kept coming back when I wasn't running. So it was a very strange attempt of PKing if that's what it was. So yeah, not a bad episode. I did get my chaotic rapier, of course, and I also got some AP and I've finished a two weekly task and I think I'm... 50% done with one and 25% done with the other. So a lot of progress, even though I didn't finish off those two weekly tasks, it kind of feels like an unfulfilled day, but it actually was pretty good.